The X case has been brought up an awful lot in this debate. We think about the fact that like, 20 years ago, the Supreme Court had a ruling that said that like abortion is okay in certain circumstances, yet we're still having debates today on if we can actually have a law for that. That leaves doctors in a grey area, so they don't know what to do under certain situations, certain cir circumstances. Like, And even has been pointed out by a proposition, like, we still have debates today on if mental health is like a good enough reason to like um, to have like um, abortion in that sense. But so like what I want to talk to you today like more or less is about like like women who do actually like have things like you know are brave, do have like really bad like medical issues with their children and like, are forced to go to England because they don't have the law isn't here for them to have an abortion at home where they have like a support system to deal with like the what's happened to them because they're faced with two, like two awful choices like they can have a child that's really sick and possibly could die once it's, once it's born or have to have a stillbirth or they have to abort their child and have to go to another country to do that. We think that's pretty bad for them, that they're already going through something really bad and it just makes things worse. I think it's probably better that they can do it in their country and have support here from their family because sometimes they have to go alone because they don't have that support. Okay, so I just have like um, some rebuttal for the last few speakers. And okay, this, this is going to sound a bit harsh, but um, like one of the last speakers talked about like, you know, that mother and child and like in the womb, that they're like kind of two separate, like like not necessarily two separate entities, but like uh, two people. But I think like the health of the fetus is dependent on the health of the mother. So really like as harsh as it sounds and as horrible as it sounds, like that, like a fetus, in a mother's womb is like just another part of her body like it sounds kind of horrible but it's that's kind of it and also like on the definition of like where there's another like definition of like this like life in the womb thing like that like we think like personhood doesn't start at conception that's just like a religious um like a religious not like a biologically proven fact um, so I think, like you know, as Darius pointed out, like since like the 1980s, like thousands of women have had to travel to Britain to have like, um, like for her, like for abortion. For the simple fact that our laws say that like abortion, like isn't okay. Like there's like like something like 17 women a day or around that go to England each day for an abortion. Like you know, there be books like How to Be a Woman by Caitlin Caitlin Moran, I think her name, and like she'll tell the story of this young Irish woman who she met when she went to have an abortion, and basically the girl had to get the boat over to England on her own and like have that abortion on her own and then sit in a bus for several hours like bleeding on her own while she had to get the bus back to get the boat back to Ireland like we don't think that's fair that like you know it, like if she was in Ireland like then she's able to have a support system there like she's so afraid to tell her family tell her friends what she's doing because like you know it's seen as like being pretty bad and um, I think like it puts her in a terrible position that she has to go through this on her own we don't think that's fair and we said like even if you read stories from like organizations like terminations for medical reasons like you see that there's women being told that they have children like Edward syndrome and like really rare like de like defects within birth so they can like have their baby that's going to have like could possibly die at birth or die soon after so they're forced to go through a pregnancy uh, like on, in our country basically because there is no legislation for that like they're forced to go through a pregnancy where they're going to like their child could possibly die like soon after birth so they like have to go through this or they have this possibility or their other option is they have to go to England organize this abortion on their own under a certain time limit as well because it's probably harder like to go from here to there within the time constraints that you have and like endure like and like have a, like an abortion there where you might only be able to have like one member of your family if you're lucky or a friend go with you like if you can have that like in Ireland like then you are able to have your family with you you're able to have like that support system that you probably need to get over something like like traumatic like that we think that's pretty important as well like under the status quo we think it's probably like that there is no legislation it's kind of problematic for doctors as well because we, we think they're put in like this kind of like limbo like area or it's a grey area where they don't really know what to do in situations we say like in the, this like case of like Savisha Halpin like we don't know if like doctors like heard a fatal heartbeat and just don't know like whose life do they put like first they put like the life of the mother or the life of the child and when they made a decision to put like the life of the child first like the like the, the mom still dies and we think like that's like sorry I can't read my own writing um 
like like they consider like, like that to be more like they consider the life of like the mother to like sorry the life of the child to be more important because our laws say that because they can't put like a woman's health ahead of her child even though like, the health of a fetus is dependent on the health of the mother as I've already like pointed out so like we think like that when you're like put like when we put doctors in that situation where they have to make like a choice like that well they don't really have a choice they just kind of like it's pretty harmful for them because they don't really know what they're doing they have to leave a patient like like they have like rarely like any options like can they think as well like the kind of proposition will probably bring up this idea as well that like you know a lot of abortions as well are like um like coerced or forced but i think like it's kind of like in this day at the moment women are basically forced to go through a pregnancy we don't really think that's like fair on them we don't think like that really achieves anything for women as well it puts them like they don't have any like bodily autonomy they don't have the decision over their own body you create one rule for men where they have like their whole like their body is fine and then like kind of a different rule for women where they're only this one really important part like of their like reproductive rights are being like kind of like lessened to that of man so for all those reasons i beg you to propose